Welcome to the Bond Star page, man. We riding clean, man. Burke Light, Top Light, Magnum Light, everything goes. Good. Tagging you to the thing, glass, boy. 30 folks. Got the pipe of motor sitting in there. It's not all the way mounted, so that's why it's a little crooked. Working out the kinks. I'll let y'all see it. Um, got my ABS lines. Um, the manifolds was hitting uh, my ABS lines. So, I have to get some custom ones so they go straight down. This side, I got the steering column and the starter was hitting it. But, may do by taking it off it's easy to get one custom on this side then i gotta straighten this bad boy out but it'll straighten as soon as i put the transmission in with it she dirty she filthy i ain't washed her sitting up high with no weight up in here so it is once i put that transmission in here we'll sit down as you see I ain't did no ride. Stickers on the tires. Sticker on the tire. Chop block in here. So I don't mess it up. I ain't got no dry shaft in here. So I ain't got no transmission. So don't want it to roll back. Dash out. Everything really taken apart. But I do love how she sit. I love all that. So, um, the front will actually come up some once I put the transmission. And it won't sit level like that. That back will be down a little bit. Paint crazy. Paint by King. Whole dash out. Whole dash out. dash right there no speaker box had to have my neighbors help me get that out but other than that that's about it ain't got nothing going on right now but in the 300 and the challenge I seen online there's a sitting a little bit forward, which I probably will once I take this fan and radiator out. Um, the old one kind of give me some space to figure out something because I think I'm gonna have to put something on this side because I got space on this side of the bumper, which is cool. Can't really see it too dark, but got all my kinks really worked out. What I got to work around and what I need, so. We're gonna make this thing happen, man. Viper Magnum. Viper 300 Magnum. You know, 300 front end with the dash, Viper engine on the Magnum. Stay tuned. And YouTube, man. I got a lot of things moving in progress right now. I got a lot of stuff I gotta catch up on. But it's a lot of things that I want y'all to see, man. So, um, gave y'all a little description on the Magnum with the Viper, paint crazy. Paint is crazy, super crazy, you know what I mean? Happy about it, paint by King did his thing. Y'all yeah, know I did that gold on there. That bad boy bleeding through it. Can't wait to get this thing started up, but we got a little, a few problems we gotta finish. And we're going to jump straight into it. I'm going to show y'all what I got going on. So, YouTube, this is um, the motor I had in here. Uh, that's the other Viper motor. That's for the dump. But this is the motor I had in there. Water pump went out uh, at the Super Bowl. So, I've been playing with it, trying to learn motors, because I don't, I, don't, I don't know too much about motors. You know, I'm real good at keeping bolts where they're supposed to go and stuff like that. I just finally got, like, the torque specs and stuff like that. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to put a new water pump back in this thing in the timer chain. 
uh, the ride until I figure out all the kinks on the Viper piece. But for the time being, I got a scrap motor just so I don't mess up mine. Um, salvage motor or whatever, you see it's no good, but practice on it, see what's going on before I touch mine. So that's what I got going on right here. Um, transmission will be my next piece on the Viper motor. Um, trying to get it connect. As y'all see, I got 14 karat gold fuel rail, real gold. 14 karat gold uh, fuel rails. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all my dilemma. Um, as you see, that's the motor mount. Hold on, let's see if we clear this up. Motor mount, and it has to go down. So um, that's where the old motor mounts went to. And then like Hellcats, um, 392s, all that, they go right there. So that being said, We're gonna get this thing moving on this side. We got the steering column. As y'all see, this steering column goes straight now. And uh, my starter passes it, which is back there, the starter where that bolt is. And that's um, the motor mount, which the motor mount is actually facing up. It actually goes down. Uh, just playing with it. Um, so I got a little customization in here. I at least know it fits um, without hitting anything. And I could go down. Um, my other problem is, which we're gonna go underneath here and see. Ah, is oil pan I'm not really worrying about because I can push it back some. However, I do have to get the engine. Um, well, how should I say it? See where that? That's the transmission. Um. The other mold parts did not cut. They actually had enough clearance room. So I gotta play with it a little bit more uh, to get the clearance issue so I can get the transmission in here. Um, otherwise, I might just cut the tr uh, tunnel out. Since I don't have too much professional help, I might cut the tunnel out on mine and I can build a custom console inside my car. And that way the transmission go back to the dry shaft. Shaft. You know what I mean? Because I need the dry shaft to be straight. Um, my transmission bracket, definitely gonna have to get a custom one because this is too close. Because um, I'm thinking once I get the transmission on there, my transmission probably come by here to the middle of my yoke. And I'm gonna need a transmission mount back there. But as far as the motor itself, definitely fits. Um, might have to cut a tr uh, dry shaft tunnel, you know, to make it work. Um, it is a 300. It's a 300 that has done it and a Challenger. And they didn't do none of that. They actually, the Challenger had made a different subframe and dropped it and uh, made it work. And my subframe was already dropped due to the 34s. So um, we gonna see. So I'm, I'm letting y'all see what my dilemma is. I know a lot of people think the viper swap in the dunk and in the magnum is quick and simple and easy and it's not it's a lot of math involved and stuff like that um the dunk i actually got everything figured out so i'm not really worrying about the dunk uh, this one is gonna be a little bit harder and it's crazy because this is a dodge you wouldn't think it'd be harder but it is harder it is harder as far as the inside Got everything all taken out, really, and gutted besides my wiring harness. Um, just gotta see what angle I wanna go at doing that, all this. But, y'all see, Maggie still got the system out. Star still in, speakers in. Ain't too much change in here yet. Um, if I do change everything, like I said, I would cut this out just so the transmission would fit and figure all this out. Um, I really don't wanna cut up here where y'all seen the tension on the inside due to um, that heating element and all that and AC. And I gotta have AC, I cannot ride with no AC. It's not happening, not happening. So that being said, we got a little bit to figure out. Like I said, I dropped 
a lot once I put the motor mounts in and get them welded in. Once I get it welded in, I drop it down. Um, I should be good. The only thing I'm worrying about is the steering column. And hopefully I don't hit that. Um, Cause I should be able to come up for some. And then my fans and radiator will be custom made. And I'll probably move these old ones cause these are the old ones. So I have room to come forward. Uh, my custom ones, I'll probably put closer to the grill on this side. So we'll see. We're gonna rock with it. We're gonna make something happen. As y'all see, I was at the Super Bowl with it. But we're gonna get this thing moving, man. I'm gonna get some work on it today. And uh y'all rock with me, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Man, so I also want to tell y'all, man, I appreciate y'all tuning in to the channel and support, man. We gotta to get to this 10,000 uh subscribers. That's my goal. So Y'all got to make it happen by sharing and liking, subscribing, and commenting, man, because I'm trying to get y'all the content. I'm going to start posting more. Um, i just been slowed down lately, um, but I'm going to get back to working. Uh, the weather's changing up, as you see. I got shorts on, so we're going to get the moving. Um, if y'all need star lighting, um, interior, 24-karat um, gold on your cars, any of that kind of nature, sound systems, hit me up. I do it on the side. I can make something happen. Uh, and if not, you know, I can fly to you and make it happen there if you can uh, get your car to me. But that being said, man, appreciate y'all supporting the channel. Y'all keep subscribing, keep uh, keep sharing. So, you know, share it to your friends and family, man. We're going we gonna to get the content out. And when I get these two Viper motors up and running in my vehicles, it's going to be gonna be something to see man it's gonna be something different um i could have went the easy route like everybody else be doing but for some reason v10s are hard not too many cars got v10 swaps and uh i really want to see what they're gonna do um so i like trying new things but appreciate y'all y'all take it easy and uh 34 gang let's rock peace